hello and welcome to my vlog i'm actually vlogging this week just because i actually am doing things you know i have a spooky show coming up this friday so i'm gonna bring you all to that and yeah i'm actually doing things this week so i thought now is a good opportunity to vlog i find that a lot of my artist life is spent doing admin and you know just working alone and just grinding things out so when i actually have things to do it feels good to be able to share like a week in my life with all of you so i have angel with me we're just gonna go run some errands first i just have to pick up some dog food i have to go to daiso and just pick up some supplies because i want to try mono printing so i'm gonna go pick up a few supplies for that but yeah it'll be a good week just to show off a little bit of what i do you know it's not the most glamorous thing that i'm doing but it's what i'm doing right now in this period of my life i really like vlogging because i can look back on it in the future and just see like what i was doing at this moment in my life like of course i'm not where i want to be but I'm grateful, I'm happy, things are going well, and we're trying our best. So yeah, let's let's get into it. Here is your first angel cameo. I'm like bringing her out with me just because I spend a lot more time with my younger dog just because she needs more care and stuff. So whenever I get the chance, I like to bring Angel out with me just so that she can you know, have some experiences out as well, spend time together because this, this is my little baby, okay? She's still my little girl. Here's my Daiso haul. It's gonna be really fast because I had self-control today. Calligraphy ink, which I use just for painting and a lot of other things. And paper. I love Daiso, but man, sometimes I can walk in there and walk out with like 10 items that I don't need. So for me to walk out with two items, big win. Woo! Good stuff in Daiso. I love having a Daiso near my house is so dangerous because I can just go, I can just come here anytime and get stuff. And I end up spending a lot of money that I don't need to be spending. You know what? When it comes down to it, I'm just I'm just a girl, and I need a treat to get me through my day. And my excuse for this is that I have lots of things to do, and if I get myself a proper drink, I will get those things done. Can you sit? Can you sit? Can you sit? Can you sit? Sit? Uh, we're working on it. Welcome to my mono printing experiment. I'm, I've watched a bunch of videos on this. So I wanted to try it out. I know most people will use like the gel plate thing and eventually if I like it enough, I'll go and get one. But for now, if I can find like a cheaper way to do it, why not? I just picked up this glass plate from the dollar store. So that's all I'm trying with. So I'm going to... I've just been using paint, trying different types of paint. Do I have paint on this? Oh, there we go. That's way too much paint, oopsie. But you kind of just put your paint down, take a roller if you have any type, and then you just roll it out. And then you just like draw in your design. I'm gonna do something like this. I use this a lot. I think I'm gonna use it for like background, like the start of a painting. And then you just take your paper And then it should show up like this very nice very cool so I'm gonna do I'm just gonna I'm just trying things out seeing what works seeing what doesn't like this cost me like four bucks to do like why not Here are the results of my mono printing experiment. 
it was pretty fun. I like it. I feel like how you can get like some cool textures out of it. Like you can get some cool patterns. And I think I can use these as like the basis of some of my paintings and some of my pages, which is really cool. If anyone does model printing and you watch this, please give me tips. It's my first time doing this, so I'd love to improve, but it's been fun. I'm just trying new things, spicing things up a little bit, and it's been fun. I really like what the stuff we're making, and yeah, pretty cool. Definitely we'll try again. Hello, welcome to a new day. It is pouring rain. We are in Vancouver, of course, known as Rain Vancouver. So when you get to the October, November, December, all we have is rain, which like I love when I'm indoors, but when I'm out walking the dogs, I'm like, ooh, it's rough. But very cozy day plan today. I'm just getting prepped for Maker's Market at UBC in November. So I'm doing a lot of preparation for that. Um, just buying stickers, getting things ready. I kind of want to sell some mini canvases and little, little like prints. So I'm going to just get all that started because it's about three weeks away. So I, I'm, at, I'm at that sweet spot where I feel like I have lots of time before the panic sets in. So, and it's also one of my first markets. I don't really do markets. So it's going to be a good experience. I'm very excited. It's my alumni school. So alumni, alumnus, whatever the term is, I went to UBC. Okay. So I'm going to be returning to my school to have a good time, sell some art, meet people. A lot of my friends are going to be there too, so it's not like I'm going to be alone, which is going to be good. So yeah, I had a jacket for her, but she's grown out of it just because she's been growing so much. And like having a Pomeranian in Vancouver weather is insane because they're just wet all the time and I'm constantly drying them. But you know, it's fine. I'll deal with it. She's cute or whatever, but... Yeah, I wish she could fit into her jacket that I buy for her. I'm sitting on the floor because the rest of my room is a disaster so this is the best that we got okay but i just got in an order from atomic signs with stickers that i'm gonna be selling at maker's market at ubc in november so if you're in vancouver come to maker's market in november at ubc i'm gonna be selling just a whole bunch of stuff but i just got in this sticker order oh they look so good yes oh okay i got these um this is reorder. This is a reorder that you're doing amazing sweetie sticker. But this one here is brand new. This is from, it's a piece that I made for Spooky Show. And oh, it looks so good. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It feels so good to like have my art be made into stickers. Like I feel like I've accomplished something. It just feels so good to do. Oh, I'm very happy with how they turned out. Yes, I'm super excited. Come and buy these. Buy these, please. We are headed to Spooky Show. Very excited to see my art. I feel very accomplished, very happy. So let's go and see.
Thank you.